Hello friends, Misha Crossing here in the dream town of Kiyoshi. Luna is going to tell us. You want to return to the real world, the world of stress. Please lie down on this bed once more. Mm, I hope you have the most amazing time here in the dreamy world of Kiyoshi. So here I am on my second dream town visit. Well, since the I got my capture card back. Change into my favorite little outfit here. But I'll see what they have laid out. Uh, this town is by Tumblr user uh, Harvest Mare. They're on hiatus right now, it looks like, but I will still link their uh, their blog in the description. Actually, I'm gonna get the leaf. Might as well. Oh, and maybe the leaf umbrella. Is there another umbrella over here? Oh, the petal parasol. Yes, yes, yes. What's this? Bandage. School hat. Okay. Oh, a bubble wand. And beans. I'm gonna get both of these things. Sorry, I'm just preparing myself over here. Okay. Um, I think I'm just gonna carry this. No, actually, I'm gonna carry the bubble wand around. I don't care if I get rained on. Okay, so obviously, um, this town is hacked. Um, there are clovers and weeds and trees and bushes and public works projects already in places they shouldn't be, and those houses up there are aligned so perfectly. Um, but I really like hack towns, and I am A-OK -okay with this. I just don't know where I want to start. I guess I'll start uh, down here and kind of make my way make my way around this way. So it's all uh, very, ooh, pretty. Very overgrown um, forest. Lots of cedars, lots of bushes. I love this public works project. I have this in my uh, my lake and fawn. So many mushrooms. Oh, that's pretty. I like when people make the uh, the pond like a whole area. Like it's really, really special. You know, all the mushrooms around it. I love it. I wonder why the street lights aren't on though. I feel like if it's this gloomy and rainy, they should be. Here's retail. Very, very foresty. Um, oh, so I should probably go. Oh no, I'm plucked. I'm gonna try... <laughs> I'm just blocked in. This is the one thing about hack towns is that you can build so many trees and so many places to like force people to go on a certain path and that makes it very difficult for path jumpers like me, but that's okay because the way they wanted their town. <laughs> I'm gonna go on up around here, past this street light, and up to the area with all the villagers' houses. Let's see who they have. Fang, Diana, Daisy, Marina, Midge, Marshall, Fauna, Muffy, and Gingy. Mostly pretty popular villagers and they all have some cute houses here it looks like let's go up to the next row it's so cute i love it oh my god marshall's house is probably the main not cute one. Oh, and whoever this is isn't super cute but it's okay it doesn't matter because the villagers themselves are super cute i mean i like having um villagers houses all in one area because it does save space but then you don't have like Villagers walking all over the map. They're all kind of condensed to one one place. This is so super cute. Now here's a new face. Are you from another town? Well, this town is the best. It's like a dream come true. Have fun visiting, Clover. Aw, thanks. Alrighty. There's all the villagers' houses, and it's all super cute. I'm gonna come back down here. I love all the stuff in the river. Um... Come back around this way. Oh, there's another street lamp over here. Up to the cafe. So many trees. Oh, and a pretty log bench. I love the feel of this. It's so, so dreamy and so tranquil. So green and, and lush. Okay, I think I'm going to go up this way. 
for now. Oh, there was a, uh... See, this is a very similar feel to what I want, um, Kodama to have. I love it. Not exactly the feel, but similar. The Zen bell up here. Oh, it's a whole big- oh, no, I don't want to blow bubbles. I just want to ring the bell. There we go. So pretty. There's just so many clovers, I love it. And up here's the train station, the Zen train station, they made it. Um, we'll go over this way first. Oh, I need to go to, uh, I'll go to that house on the way back down. Oh, never mind. I have to go to that house. <laughs> There's no way for me not to. Oh, hello. Who are you? Kabu. Please buy my turnips. Aw. Oh, pretty green house. Right on the river. That's adorable. See, whenever I visit hack towns and look at pictures of my towns, it just makes me think about hacking in, um, in Kodama. Oh, he does have a little gardening store, a little, and a lot of, uh, a lot of turnips. <laughs> Cute. I like it. Let's see what's up next. I think there was a house in the upper right hand corner. Oh, is this where he's growing turnips? Oh, is this a recycling yard? Oh, it's just gardening tools. Yeah, watering can and fertilizer. And here's all of his turnips all planted here. Cute. Okay, I get it. I get it and I like it. <laughs> That's super duper cute. Oh, I'm lost in a maze over here. I'll go back on the right path. <laughs> oh, so pretty. And here is this. Oh, it's just a tent. Cute. I will never stop digging. Aw. She's a little, uh, aw. Aw. I love it. Little archaeologist. Digging up the bones. Oh, and she just has a cute little tent with some coffee and a little place to write and some plants and a fossil. A little miniaturized pterodactyl, it looks like. Oh, <laughs> I love it. I love it a lot. A lot of work has gone into this town. Very clearly. It looks like there is a bridge over here that's just a dock, really. Yeah. Aww. You can sit on the, the little stump here by the waterfall. So, so peaceful. Alright, so now I need to make my way back over this way. Mm hmm. And I'm going to. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Ugh. Again! Got myself again. Now I need to go over. Oh no, I'm not on the path anymore. Uh, I need to go over towards the town hall. Oh, there's Marina. Oh, I also need to go up. Let me go up towards the campsite first. I need to go this. Not that way. Guess I'm going this way. Oh, a little bus stop. The middle of the woods. There's another, some more street lights and a stump. Oh, nope, campsite first, then down there. <laughs> yes, so cute. Oh, I need to go check out the beaches. I wonder if she did anything to the beaches. Oh no, it doesn't even look like... Oh, <laughs> the ramp is all the way up here. Just still very overgrown. Clovers and trees and weeds. Okay, that looks like what it is. The whole thing. <laughs> I'm not gonna run down all of it. Whoops. Little mushrooms. 
I am going to go, oh no, down this way. Oh, this house is a tent too. Let's see inside. Oh, it's just lamps and the moon. <laughs> Interesting. Whose house is this? Let me click on it and see the name. UA? Is that... Is it UA? From Avatar? Is that how you spell UA? The, uh, the moon princess that, that turned into the moon? <laughs> is that... Oh, Caitlyn. That must be the... I would say that's the mayor's house, but I can't say for sure. Oh my goodness, it's so hard to navigate sometimes. Oh, so pretty. Oh, little Evie. Cute. I love the statue fountains. I still haven't gotten any public works projects requests for my villa, villa villagers in Kodama. Oh, and I've already seen this, the little stone. I just need to- oh, who's all the way down here? Eric is all by himself. I don't know why I just noticed that now. It's the little water well. Everything's little. It's just the little little tree, little mushroom, little water well. A little stump. <laughs> I did it again. Little stump area. <laughs> and then little Eric here by himself with oh the hammock. He's lazy. He needs to have his own little area with the with the hammock. And he's home. I gotta go in and see him. He's a cutie. One of my favorites. I think his house is, yeah, it's really cozy. I know most people don't pay much attention to what their villagers' houses look like. Houses? Houses look like, and that's okay. I haven't cleaned my place at all, but this is a dream, so who cares? It's adorable. Hmm. Yeah, I wish you could customize your villagers' houses in, in Animal Crossing more than, uh... Maybe not to the extent that you can in Happy Home Designer, but have a little bit more influence on what's going on inside. Oh, well this has been just a, a beautiful, beautiful dream town. And we're almost done. It's just this overgrown bridge area. And, oh, I think here's Kaylin. I'm the harvest goddess. Dot, 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 dot. Aw, she controls the harvest? That's scary. Don't want to piss her off. Always gotta have a good harvest. Oh, so peaceful. Oh, it's so pretty. I love it. Let's see what's back here. The uh, right and left rooms were blocked off. Oh, <laughs> cute. Piles of leaves and mush stuff and the dwarves and the pumpkins. Very fall. Cute. Very autumnal. And I guess, I mean, if they have an upstairs and downstairs, there's no way to block it, so I'm going to it. Oh, this is cute. I love this floor. This is one of my favorite, um, one of my favorite floors. Uh, just so many plants. Little basement greenhouse type area. Oh, I love it. Now let's go see the upstairs and that will pretty much conclude the Dreamtown visit. Just the walk back to the town plaza. Oh, lots of bamboo. Kind of a little, uh, I don't know, meditation area or prayer area. Whatever you want to read it as. <laughs> Whatever they intended it as. So pretty. I love it. Like I said, just so tranquil. I love it. I love it a bunch. I love it a whole bunch, guys. Is there anything up here? Oh, the water pump! 
Water pump's another favorite. Definitely gotta have that in Kodama. Hmm. Okay, well, it looks like probably... Oh, there's a little... Oh, a wetsuit. You can go swimming. Cute. Um, yeah, we are done with our dream tour of Kiyoshi. This is such a pretty overgrown town. Oh, I love it. Great job, Harvest Mayor. Oh, good job. Big ol' fan over here. <laughs> They're fully grown tree. So peaceful. Well, thank you all for watching my dream visit of Kiyoshi. I will be doing more tours soon. Um, please suggest any of your favorite dream towns you'd like me to visit. Um, if you want to follow any of my other social media, links are in the description, description box. You all have a wonderful day. Be kind to one another, and don't forget to be awesome. Bye!